welcome to this session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. And today we are going to have the complete analysis of your syllabus for grade 9 English. So those students who have moved from grade 8 to grade 9, very soon guys, your new academic year would be starting, right? I think for most of you, it has already started. So this session is going to make you complete aware, completely aware about your syllabus. And I'm going to give you a detailed analysis of your entire syllabus so that you get a complete idea, right? Before you step on to your new uh, academic year, new session, right? So let's begin with the very, very important session on complete syllabus analysis for grade 9 English. All right, so guys, this is the section-wise weightage for your syllabus, sec section-wise weightage. Now, you have three sections, right? Reading comprehension, writing skills with grammar, and third is your literature textbook and supplementary reading text. You have two texts. I hope you know that, right? You, uh, your total marks would be 80, 20 for internal, right? So, uh, reading comprehension would come for 20 marks. The weightage for reading comprehension is for 20 marks. I will be going into the details as well, right? What kind of question uh, you will be having, what kind of passages you would be having, everything I would let you know, right? Writing skills with grammar, okay? So writing skill and grammar, 10 marks each, 10 marks grammar and 10 marks writing skill, okay? So which leads to a total of 20 marks. Right? And then from literature, guys, you have 40 marks. So the maximum weightage for literature is 40 marks, out of which 10 you have MCQ. All right? Right? So you can score there very well. So your paper is very, very scoring. And I will also let you know uh, your uh, complete plan. I mean, what should be our target areas where we can score complete marks, 100% marks, everything. So we will be planning for our syllabus. We will be completely prepared and planned. And we will move ahead in a planned way. Right? We will not just work hard. We will also work smart. So... Hard work plus smart work, right, is going to give you good result, right? So, let's proceed further and now let's analyze the question pattern. Now, guys, the very first part, part A. Let's see what do we have for part A. Part A is going to have reading passage unseen passage this is going to come for 20 marks right now you will have two passage and this m complete 20 mark is mcq okay complete 20 marks is mcq so you can actually score 100 percent marks here 20 out of 20 right so this is an area where your focus should be okay so you would be have M, uh, you would be having MCQ questions based on a discursive passage. So first passage would be a discursive passage, 400 to 500 words. Okay, you have to answer 10 questions out of 12, right? You could have a choice. You could have 12 questions, but you have to answer only 10, right? Next would uh, next would be again uh, reading passage, case based factual passage, right? where you will be given data or chart, okay? And you have to analyze that. I mean, uh, it would be of 200 to 250 words along with your data, statistical data, right? Since it is case-based passage, right? So this is going to test your analysis and interpretation because in the next grade, guys, very soon, in the next grade, you have something called um, uh, analytical paragraph. Right. So this case based uh, case based factual passage would also give you an idea of that analytical paragraph of, you know, writing an analytical paragraph scoring there, too. So this case based factual passage is going to be very important for you people. Right. Not just for this grade, but also for this would be giving you an idea to approach analytical paragraph, which would be helping you in the next grade. Right. So the total length for two passages would be 600 to 700 words, right? So I can I told you that you can score complete 20 marks, right? 
so our target should be here first okay completely scoring i mean uh, scoring complete 10 marks uh, in you know each passage that is 10 plus 10 20 okay so for that what you need to do now it is more, uh, time for giving you some tips you have to practice reading passage I, you, first of all you have to read regularly okay point number one you have to read regularly okay you have to become an avid reader and also practice comprehension reading comprehension passages please practice on a regular basis at least you know now this is a perfect time this is the perfect time where you can sorry where you can actually practice reading comprehension you can actually en uh, enhance your reading skills right because right now you have less pressure less burden right so this is you have ample time with you now so please utilize this time on practicing reading comprehension passages okay guys okay so now next would be your literature textbook i told you that 10 marks you have multiple choice questions right five from prose five from four right and you can actually score 100 percent marks even here so 20 plus 10 you are actually scoring 30 out of 30 in these two sections right so you can uh, understand the percentage how the percentage can increase right so you can actually score 30 out of 30 in these two uh, topics all right so guys for this you have to be very thorough with your texts right so thoroughly read your uh, your ncert texts start reading from now okay also you have to uh, be very careful about your vocabulary because most of the questions i mean not most of the questions but yes you will get many questions which would be based on vocabulary okay both for literature textbook multiple choice questions and reading comprehension multiple choice questions right uh, at least one or two question you would definitely find from this vocabulary section so which means you have to work on your vocabulary right from the beginning i told you i gave you certain tips to enhance your vocabulary if you have missed that guys once again i'm repeating uh, you should read regularly and find out words from the passage that you have read find out words um, collect them along with their meaning and use them in sentences that is how you would be enhancing on your vocabulary do this on a regular basis collect at least four to five words each day it's not a laborious task at all right you can do that and do it right from now right so uh you know uh, you would be doing two things at the same time one you would be enhancing your reading skills and number two you would be also enhancing or working on your vocabulary right so please do that from the beginning next is grammar c grammar is going to come for 10 marks again where you can again score complete 100 marks so 40 marks already done right 20 for reading 10 for multiple uh, multiple choice question from literature and 10 for grammar right 20 plus 10 plus 10 right 40 marks you can easily score right so see that these are the topics that you need to cover for your grammar tenses modal subject verb form for use of passive voice reported speech within reported speech you have subcategories commands and requests which means imperative sentences statements which means you know assertive sentences i mean reported speech that is conversion of direct to indirect speech on these sentences right commands and requests statements questions interrogative sentences then we have determiners, prepositions, clauses. Within clauses, we have noun clause, adverb clauses of condition and time, and relative clause. Now, these topics we would be soon covering in our sessions too, right? Now, uh, the book which you can follow for grammar is your Ren and Martin. Okay, this would be a wonderful book for practice, right? For enhancing your base, okay? This is going to give you your... Uh, you know strengthen your base so if you need to strengthen your base guys apart from of course coming to these sessions and practicing with us you can follow if you want to follow a book you can definitely follow ren and martin high school grammar 
right ren and martin which is going to be very effective it's going to strengthen your base right and also solve previous if you want to look at the previous years question paper i mean if you want to be very um, systematic and if you want to see want to see the structure of the question and how it comes in your papers then you should follow the previous years question paper you have so many sample papers right sample uh, you know uh, so many guide books having sample papers like for example ospal then uh, super 20 so many things but only use them for the grammar and the reading section not for the literature please okay so ren and martin would be giving you the foundation okay and for looking at the previous years question paper either go and download them or you could see any guide book where you will have the previous years question papers and sample papers collected together but only use them for solving the grammar and the literature uh, and the and the reading part not the literature okay and of course we will be covering all of these topics so for better understanding and for a better experience of course we will be doing that in classes too so do attend the sessions in our classes for the grammar part as well right and now the next part we have part b where we have the literature and the writing part now writing would come for 10 marks now before starting with the writing and before analyzing what exactly is going to come for writing if you want to join us and gain 100% knowledge and 100% marks what you need to do guys you need to just click on the link below in the description box okay you could be availing unlimited live classes with fun and high level quiz questions and i will like actually show you take you to the platform and show you what all we do in our platform right so you do not have to wait for any mentee sessions uh, to have the quiz questions and to have that fun element and to be the session uh, to you know uh, make the session very interactive you will be getting that in each and every session in our platform plus you could Uh, you know compete with the students throughout the world so that gives you a lot of exposure even the replays that you can see they will be also having live quizzes and leaderboards plus you could download the free uh, content i will show you where from you can download i'll show you everything i'll take you to the platform and then your doubts would be solved immediately then and there with our team of class teachers who would be sitting there throughout the session plus at the end we have assignments for you people so solving that would be making you under, uh, would be making you aware of how much you've grasped the content that has been taught in the class plus we have quality tests we also give you the performance report of those tests which again helps you analyzing your strengths and your weaknesses plus we have uh, chapter wise courses micro courses and also we have crash courses which are absolutely free and all this is in a very less price the coupon code that you have to apply is s w r e p r o theek hai this is the coupon code and now i will show you this is the coupon code theek hai and this is the price that you will get after applying the coupon code for a month this is the price for the full academic year which is going to save 3% right so 11.7 and 11.43 these are the prices after applying the coupon code now i'll quickly show you how can you visit the link and how can you get yourselves enrolled for our amazing classes right so this is the link see this is one of my sessions so you go to one of these sessions and then you can see over here uh one second yeah here this link right subscribe to vedantu pro now and this is the link click on this link uh oh my internet is not working okay guys my internet is not working i have shown you that link right you have to click on that this link and you will get everything right you have three types of courses okay let me take you to the platform first now this is the platform i hope this will work somehow i don't know uh, so this is the past session it will also not work anyways so uh, i am not able to show you right now anyways so i would be just talking about the uh our sessions so guys we have three types of courses right we have three types of uh, plans one is uh, one is uh, you know your pro one is classic and one is uh, you know light right now the first uh, plan is where you get all the features 
uh, for you know whatever I have just now said, all the features you will get, right? In the second one, which is classic, right? There you will also have doubt solving facility uh, on your mobile app. So that is something which is super amazing. And the third, which is Pro Plus, okay? So in the Plus app, uh, Plus plan, if you opt for the Plus plan, you will be having uh, your personal mentor too, right? So these are the three types of plans and the moment you click on the link, you will select your grade over there and you will get all the three types of plans, right? Where you have interactive classes, you have doubt solving facility, you have a facility for watching the replays, everything is there. The only difference is in the second plan, you have uh, doubt solving in the mobile app. In the third one, which is Pro Plus, you will be having the personal mentor, the facility of having personal mentor too. And you can select any one of these and you know, you will get to see the prices as well. And uh, you can also select any of these plans. You can try them for a month too, right? So that was all guys. I'm sure you would be able to go through that. And this is the bad starting date, okay? Bad starting date for grade 9 and grade 10, right? So CBSC, ICC, Maharashtra board, everything, even JE batches have started from, uh, JE batches will start from 10th May and NEED batches will also start from 10th May, right? So these are your bad starting dates, guys. Hurry up and get yourselves enrolled because see, these two years are your preparatory years, which is going to make you very strong. So you have to make your foundation strong, right? And with this, you know, uh, pandemic going on, so much disturbances in your classes. So we are there to help you out in this time of crisis, guys. So don't forget to visit the link and get yourselves enrolled. So now we will start with the writing part, right? The second part, that is part B, will have writing. And you will have two types of writings, total of 10 marks, that is 5 plus 5, right? So that is also not very, uh, I mean, that is also scoring. If you think that my writing is not scoring, no, dear, it is also scoring. Uh, maybe you will not be able to score 100% uh, marks every time in writing. Depends on, uh, because writing is something which is subjective, right? So one person may like and the other person may not like what you have written. So yes, one or two marks can be, you know, here and there, but that doesn't mean you, you won't be able to score. I will be giving you certain tips in the classes which will enhance your writing skills. And this is the correct time when you have to enhance your writing skills so that you can score the maximum cure too, right? So first is uh, going to be an informal letter based on situation, okay? Any situation. And then we have the descriptive paragraph, okay? So uh, you will have a choice between Right? Descriptive paragraph based, uh, you know, on person, place, event. Uh, also, you have diary entry, okay? based on verbal cues. Right? So, you have five marks, okay, for each. I mean, for uh, you have to just choose one, either the letter writing or the descriptive one, okay? or diary entry, whatever. Right? And uh, next is story. Next is story, which is compulsory. Okay? So, story, you have to be very prepared well prepared okay story based on given outline so outline or cues would be given and you have to complete the story right so one out of two questions need to be answered okay uh, one second so which means either this one or this one okay okay so these are the no 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 one second one second 5 plus 5, yes. So, from here you have one choice and this is, this you have to answer, right? So, one out of two questions needs to be answered. Okay, guys, so uh, here you have to actually, you will get two uh, two options in both the, uh, both the topics. The first one also you will get two options, you have to select one. And here also one out of two questions, so two options you have to select one. I hope I am clear with this, right? So one out of two questions is to be answered in the first one as well. And one out of two questions is to be answered for the second one as well, right? So the next one is the literature part, okay? Now four out of six short answers. Now literature here is, it is for 30 marks, okay? 
10 marks we have already covered in the multiple choice questions and you can actually score 10 out of 10 there, right? So, uh, for literature guys, what you have to do is, first one, 4 out of 6 short answer type questions, okay? That means you will, uh, this is for 2 marks, 2 marks each, how many questions do you have to answer? 4 questions, 4 questions from where? From uh, beehive and moments. Okay, 2 out of 3 from beehive and 2 out of 3 from moments. Okay guys, right? So 2 from beehive, 2 from moments, total of 4. So you have to be well prepared for that. Okay, and you can easily score because since this is of 2 marks questions, you can easily score, you know, out of 8, at least 7. So it's also possible to score complete 8 marks. So this portion is also again very scoring. You can score up to 100% marks here too. Right? So 30 marks. Uh, so here you are scoring up to 100% marks for the 8 marks. Right? Next part is 4 out of 6 questions. Short questions for 40 to 450 words. Right? And here this is again 2 out of 3 from behind, 2 out of 3 from moments. Right? And this is going to be for 3 marks each. Okay, 4 out of 6, okay, 3 marks each. So, here also you have to answer how many? 2 from beehive and 2 from moments. Okay, so total of 4, 3 marks each. Alright guys, next is of 5 marks. Okay, 5 marks, you again have option, right? 1 out of 2 long answer type, question from beehive. That means from beehive you will get 2 questions out of which you have to select one then again from moments you will get two questions out of which you can select one it is not from behind and moments the options won't be behind and moments it will be i mean both are compulsory the options you will have you know internally from behind you have two questions out of which you will select one and from moments you will have two questions out of which you will select one so you have to be very thorough with all of your chapters there is no shortcut, okay? So guys, this passage, this could be a passage-based question taken from a situation, plot from text, and this, this is what we are going to practice thoroughly in our sessions too. For this, for attempting these kinds of questions, for the five mark questions especially, you need a deeper understanding of the text because you know you will have a lot of value-based questions from you know uh, asked from these uh, five marks questions, right? So for this, you have to. It is compulsory for each one of you to attend these sessions, right? Either YouTube or our regular session, whatever is convenient for you. Okay, so guys, don't miss the session. And also for uh, the MCQ and two marks questions, you need to be thorough with your text. So, you, what is uh, the advice for you? The first step that you have to follow is read your NCERT thoroughly, thoroughly line by line. And the second is attend these sessions, right, for deeper understanding of the text and for understanding how to approach your question and answers. That is what we are going to teach you in the sessions. So, don't think, you know, attending the sessions is useless. It is going to be extremely crucial for you people, right? I am repeating this again and again. You have to both read your text. You cannot escape anyone. And the third important point is practice writing your own answers, right? So the next one is practice. Practice uh, within the topic practice, well, I would be uh, including uh, everything, you know, reading comprehension, writing, because writing is based on practice and practice. You can score better if you practice more, right, for uh, for the writing skill, uh, you know, topics. And also for literature, you have to practice framing your own answers. Don't study from guidebooks. For literature, please don't study from guidebooks, okay? You have to read your NCRT, you have to attend the sessions, and you have to practice framing your own answers as per the guidelines which we are going to give you in the sessions. Right, guys? So, that is going to make it super fun and super easy for you. You will actually enjoy uh, your, uh, you know, texts, right? And now, I'll tell you the complete syllabus of literature. First, guys, you have Beehive, right? From Beehive, you have the following poems. The Road Not Taken, Wind, Rain, of, uh, rain on the Roof, 
Lake Isle of Innisfree, A Legend of the Northland, No Men Are Foreign, The Duck and the Kangaroo, On Killing a Tree, The Snake Trying, A Slumber Did My Spirit Steal. Right? These are some of, uh, you know, these are the wonderful poems that you have in your uh, beehive. And then the prose, the fun they had, the sound of music, the little girl, a truly beautiful mind, the snake and the mirror, my childhood, packing, reach for the top, the bond of love, Kathmandu, and if I were you. These are some of you, uh, the amazing prose pieces that you have for your beehive. The next more, uh, you know, supplementary reader, that the next uh, book that you have is your supplementary reader. And you have moments, right? You have the lost child, you have the adventures of Toto, Ishwar and the storyteller in Kingdom of Fools, the happy prince, weathering the storm in Isama, the last leaf, the, a house is not a home, the accidental tourist and the beggar. So that was all for your, you know, in this you only have the prose pieces, right? Okay. So guys, that was all for today and I hope you have understood the complete analysis of the syllabus and you haven't missed any, uh, you know, important point, right? So now, get ready and boost your confidence up and start preparing, you know, the reading, start practicing the reading comprehension uh, part, the writing skills part and, uh, you know, start reading, become an avid reader, enhance your vocabulary. We have already been taking sessions regarding, uh, you know, your vocabulary. If you have missed that session on enhancing your vocabulary, please do attend that session too, right? Because there we did a lot of uh, vocabulary practice, right? And we would be coming up with, you know, these sessions, these kind of sessions before starting off with your uh, new academic session. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it informative and if you found it helpful, do share this video amongst your friends too. And also do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't because I would be, uh, you know, now devoted only and only in this channel, right? So do subscribe to the channel and do comment on what have you started with. I want to see your comments in the comment section. Do let me know what have you started with. Okay, guys. Thank you. See you in the next session. And in the next session, I would be bringing up the same for 10th graders. So 10th graders, don't worry. Your syllabus analysis would also be coming soon, right? In the next session. So stay tuned, guys. Bye-bye, everyone.